When you have 70% of ball possession and after losing the ball you return so quickly to defense, it's beyond my understanding. A crestfallen Victor Goncharenko side in the bowels of CSKA Moscow's sparkling VEB arena. The Russian giant's boss was inconsolable after witnessing his side, the one Jose Mourinho had labeled as the best CSKA team he had ever faced, torn apart inside 27 painful minutes. Not only had he not seen Marino's bold shift to three at the back coming in the Moscow chill back in September Goncharenko was stunned by United's pace on the break and their ability to seamlessly shift from defense into attack. Former defender was hardly a managerial slouch. This was the man who masterminded lowly bait Borisov's historic run into the Champions League group stages back in 2009 and the last 16 of the Europa League two years later. But, just two weeks after leading his side to a shock win in Benfica's own backyard, he had been well and truly schooled following a 41 defeat. CSKA could not live with the pace of Marshall at all forget late goal salvos against both West Ham and Swansea, this really was a game United had sewn up before CSKA's creaking stalwarts, Vasily Barazutsky and Sergei Ignashevich, had even drawn breath. In transitions, United's ability to win the ball back quickly and break at remarkable pace, were at the heart of it as they raced into a 30 lead after just a half hour played. That ability to flick the switch and kill has been at the heart of Marino's best sides it is easy to remember how Inter Milan famously stifled Barcelona at the no camp, but what about the manner in which they rallied? From 10 down to win the first leg 31 two weeks previously? Mourinho has tweaked and drilled his setup to try and get United up to those high standards and each of his summer signings were designed to boost United's transitions. Victor Lindelof, a ball-playing centre-back to pick a striker's pocket and bring the ball forward Neman Yamatic to break opposition attacks up and Romelu Lukaku to hold the ball and play others in. The transition kings even the one that got away, Ivan Perisic, would have provided the quick-fire deliveries on the break that Mourinho demands. But, despite missing out on the Inter Milan winger, United have been remarkably ruthless on the break as we saw against Arsenal last week. United may have scored three goals at the Emirates, but Arsenal were the team who dominated the statistic 75% possession, 33 shots, 16 shots on target and 12 corners. Given United's clinical finishing, though, and the remarkable instincts of David De Gea, that did not matter as each of United's goals came from a clever transition. For the first, Jesse Lingard lost the ball deep in Arsenal's half but quickly recovered to force Shkodron Mustafi into an awful square ball into Antonio Valencia's path. Within seven seconds, and ten touches, the United skipper had opened the scoring with the aid of Paul Pogba. For Lingard's first goal, just seven minutes later, the midfielder again harried an Arsenal defender, Laurent Koscielny, who released the ball into Lukaku's path 40 yards from goal. Again, it took just seven seconds, and six touches, as Lukaku, Lingard and Marshall combined to finish a flowing team move. But it was the third goal that really got Mourinho excited on the bench. A botched flick from Alexis Sanchez deep in United's half failed to find a teammate and was picked up by Marcos Rojo. The defender played a straight pass to Matic, who got the counter rolling with his spinning ball to Lukaku. The Belgian then fed Pogba who finally played in Lingard. It took just 16 touches for United to win the ball back and end the game just 13 seconds later. Was it any wonder that Lingard was mobbed by substitutes on Dur Herrera, Scott McTominay and Marcus Rashford on the touchline? Marino's creation had come to life just in time for the derby. Get all the latest Manchester United news first with our new app. Download it here now.